Señoras y señores, buenos días. El presente es un acto especial muy solemne por el cual la Escuela Superior Politécnica del Litoral procede a la entrega del diploma, placa y medalla al rector de la Universidad de Karlsruhe, doctor Horst Hippler. El programa es el siguiente. Primero, según, primero palabras del señor doctor Moisés Tacle Galárraga, rector de la Escuela Superior Politécnica del Litoral. Eh, queridos colegas y, y amigos de, de SPOL, eh, Dr. Hipper, Víctor, Madame, uh, all the members of the delegation, uh, in behalf of SPOL, we want to give you, Dr. Hipper, the most warm welcome to SPOL, to Guayaquil, and to Ecuador. Uh, we are really very glad to, to have you with us, especially in this uh, particular moment. We are celebrating tomorrow our 51st year of uh, uh, foundation, and for us it's, that's a very, very special day. Um, I had the opportunity some uh, months ago to visit your university, to visit the beautiful city of Karlsruhe, and Germany in general. And that was a very, very special opportunity because we could uh, see it, the very important work that you are doing on behalf of science and technology. This, as I told you before, is a university that I was founded with the special purpose of doing academic work and research in technical areas. That's why we call, that's, that, that, that's the reason why it's called Escuela Superior Politécnica del Litoral. Um, during these 51 years, that's mainly what we have done on behalf of the Ecuadorian society, the productive sector, and the public sector too. But now we are engaged in a very, very important project. We have a very big dream. We want to convert this university in the coming years in mainly in a research university. And that, we are aware, is a very, very giant step that we have to take. A very difficult one, a very complex one. It will demand a lot of resources. It will demand a lot of human talent. But the purpose of all of what all the people that work here is to, to reach that uh, goal sometime in the future. And we are working very hard in that direction. And one of the main projects in which we are working in order to fulfill this dream is uh, we have just started to build a knowledge park, which is going to be a complex of six or seven, seven research centers in the main areas of knowledge in where we think we have uh, human resources and we have important problems to, to solve for the Ecuadorian people. An important part of that project is not only to build the, build the buildings and to buy the equipment that's necessary to, in order to our researchers do the, what they have to do, but to form the people that's going to work in those centers. Because as you well know, um, you can have a very nice building, you can have a very nice equipment, but if you don't have the people, the right people, to do the research, uh, you don't accomplish anything. So one of the main components of this big project is precisely to send people to different places in the world, and that's going to be taking place next year, uh, in order to, 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 to get a PhD degree in different areas. We have already defined the areas of knowledge that we want those people to, to get expertise, and we are in the process of uh, first selecting the right people and then selecting the places where they are going. So I told you in our, in our visit to, 
to Castro that uh, we are very, very interesting to have the opportunity that some of those of these people, some of these uh, persons, may have the opportunity to, to, to do some academic work in Castro. Um, tomorrow, as I said, is a very important day for us. Um, we are going to have uh, the opportunity to hear you in, a, uh, I think, a very important conference because this concept of a university that serves to society, especially to the, uh, to the productive activities, is something that in Latin America is not very uh, uh, usual. Many people don't understand and some even don't accept it. Uh, something that some people think that the university has to be like uh, isolated from everything in order to to don't get contaminated. I don't know what this is, but you know, in in, in any way, that's that's the 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 thinking of some 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 people. So for us, it's very important to 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 know the experiences of very very important and prestigious universities like. Uh, the one you are heading, because uh, that is what we want to do. That's what we have. That that, that that's what we try to do all, all these years, uh, and I think that we some success. But we want to improve uh, the relationship between the university, the private, and the public sector. We want all that famous uh, virtuous triangle mm -hmm. really work here yeah. in Ecuador. Uh, and that's part of our dreams, too. Uh, nevertheless, uh, again, uh, Dr. Hipper, uh, for us, is uh, really a very, a very nice opportunity to have uh, an academician of your prestige. Uh, we know that you are an expert in, in different fields, but uh, mainly you are heading a very, very important university in Europe and in the, in the world. Um, I hope that the famous uh, junction with the, the research center in Kazu is going well. Um, I explained my colleagues uh, more or less uh, that big uh, project that you were taking. Um, again, welcome to Ecuador. For us, it's a great honor to have you uh, in this special occasion. Welcome, Dr. Hip, and welcome all the members of the delegation. Thank you.